In this tutorial, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Lightroom plugin and the workflow if you're using Adobe Lightroom as your primary image browsing application. We open Lightroom and we're in the library module. I have an exposure bracket here of uh, three shots that I took while I was in Yosemite. Uh, we were hiking out on the trails and this time I didn't have a tripod with me. Now since I didn't have a tripod, you can see that there's some movement between frames. But that's okay, because the automatic alignment algorithms in HDR Expose 3 will take care of this. Now the reason for using HDR in this scene is that I have an interesting cloud formation up here above the horizon. Everything else in the sky is pretty flat, except for these whispering clouds and a little bit of blue sky. But I have these, these puffy clouds in the back that I want to bring out. And I also have some detail here in the tree that I want to bring out. So this is my zero EV exposure. If I go to the overexposed image, you can see that I get the detail here in the bark and in, in the foliage in the tree, but I lose all of the detail in the clouds. If I go to my underexposed shot, you can see I have that cloud detail back, but I lose all of the detail here in the trees. So that's why I'm going to process these sh three shots as a single HDR image using HDR Exposed 3 via the Lightroom plugin. Now before we get started, I want to mention a couple of things about Lightroom specifically that you need to know for the optimal workflow. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the images you want to work with are in a folder that you have selected. So that's folders here in the folder view. The reason for that is that we're going to round trip this file. So we start off with the three files, we invoke the plugin, we process the image in the plugin, and we return it back to Lightroom. So you're only going to be able to see the resulting image returned back to the originals if you have the folder view selected. So if you're looking at a catalog view or a collection, you're going to have to manually add that image to that catalog or collection. The other thing that's important to mention is how you invoke the plugin. So a lot of people will right click to pull up the contextual menu and then go to the export menu and then select the merge and edit and HDR expose 3 from the export menu. Now that's a nice shortcut to use, but when you do that, you have to be aware that Lightroom is going to send the images to the HDR Expose 3 plugin using the last settings that you used before. Now if you've never used the plugin before, and you start off using this, it's going to send JPEG files to the plugin, and you won't get the kind of results that you're looking for, especially when you start shooting raw photos and import them into Lightroom. So the safest way to call the plugin instead of using the right-click method here for the contextual menu, is to click on the Export button down here. And this brings up the Export dialog. Now I have two choices here. I can either send the original images, which are the RAW files, to the plugin to merge and, and tone map, or I can send the images with Lightroom adjustments. Now when I do that, Lightroom will automatically apply all of the changes that you made to the images and create TIFF files to export to the plugin. Now you want to be very careful with, the, with this workflow. You really don't want to do much to your images before you do the HDR processing, because the HDR process should always be the first step in your workflow. You definitely don't want to go in and make color corrections or spot removal or sharpening individually on the images that could cause the various exposures to have different treatments. This could have an adverse effect on the merge process. And in fact, the only valid reason I know of to do any pre-processing in Lightroom before you do the merge process is if you have lenses that have very strong chromatic aberration artifacts that you want to remove using the lens correction utility within Lightroom. If you do that, you want to make sure that you apply the same settings to all of the images that you're going to merge, so they all have the same effect applied to them. In this case, I was working with a camera with a very sharp lens without these artifacts, so I'm going to choose to merge my original images. When I do that, it brings up the standard merge window that you've seen in the standalone application. All of the tools are identical, whether you're working on a standalone software or the plugin here inside of Lightroom. So the three images are selected. I have a keyframe selected. I'm going to go automatic, and I'll click the merge button. Now this is the resulting tone mapped image coming into the plugin. It automatically applies the tone map linear preset to the image. And you can see I have detail here in the clouds and detail here in the bark that I wanted to retain. If I zoom in on the image, you can see that the automatic alignment functionality has done a great job 
aligning these handheld images. There is no ghosting or alignment artifacts to be seen. So by default, the tone map linear preset is applied. For this one, I might go with optimal. This adds a little bit more sharpness and contrast and saturation. Or I could try something very different, going with black and white. This is kind of interesting. I want to just make a couple of small changes. I'm going to increase the gamma. And this has the effect of opening up the shadow detail here. I'll do a little bit of highlight recovery. And then maybe add a little bit more detail to the image. So if that's the look I want, I'll say OK. Now I'm prompted to give the file a name. And I can choose to export a TIFF file or a JPEG file. In this case, I'll just leave the default name in there and say OK. Now the processed image is being returned back to Lightroom in the same folder as the original images were, grouped together with the images that created it. Now that my fully processed file has been returned as a 16-bit TIFF file back to Lightroom, I can go into the Develop module and do any finishing touches in Lightroom that I want to do to this image. I'll just pick a user preset here. And that's it. That's the Lightroom workflow from start to finish using HDR Expose 3. Thanks for watching.